In the previous video, I did regression for a population data set and I used an exponential function. This led to a number of questions. So let me rephrase those questions and try and give an answer. The key difficulty was the idea of a growth rate and how that connected to the exponential function. So let's think about growth rates. Growth rates measure the change of a function, how much it is going up or down over time. Algebra naturally has a difficult time with this concept. It can understand growth over a fixed period, which is how I calculated percentage growth each year in the last video. But growth and change are more dynamic than that. Growth rates are constantly in flux, and insisting on some fixed time step is too rigid. We need a better way of dealing with growth rates. The first big idea of calculus is to measure these growth rates. Here is the definition. The derivative of a function is its growth rate, or its rate of change. If the function is p of t, still thinking of population, there are two notions for the derivative. p prime is the first, and it is called Newton's notation. The second, dp over dt, is called Leibniz notation. In this course, I will prefer Leibniz notation most of the time, but I will use Newton's notation on occasion as well. So, the derivative is a rate of change. Giving a name and notation for this is already powerful, since I can now use that name and notation. In the previous video, I calculated that the average growth rate was something close to 20%. As a statement, I can write percentage growth equals 20%. Percentage growth is a growth rate. So I can write the left side as this new idea, as the derivative dp over dt. The right side is 20%. What is 20%? Well, it is 20 over 100 of what we have, and 20 over 100 simplifies to 1 fifth. What we have is the population, so 20% of the population is 1 fifth times p of t. What I have produced is a differential equation. It is an equation that involves a function, p of t, and its derivative, dp over dt. It expresses a relationship between the function and its rate of change. This is precisely what percentage growth is, a relationship between the value of a function and its growth. 10% says take one-tenth of what you currently have, and that is the growth. Now that I can write a derivative, now that I have a symbol and a notation, I can translate the idea into mathematics, and its translation is a differential equation. An algebraic equation implicitly asks what number? A differential equation implicitly asks what function? What function has this property, that its rate of change is equal to one-fifth of its current value, that it grows at 20%? The answer is the function e to the t over 5, an exponential function. This is not quite the same as the regression I used in the previous video, which was t 2 to the t over 4, or e to the t times ln 2 over 4, but it is very close, certainly close enough to make the point. So this is the idea. Make a symbol for a growth rate. Take the idea of percentage growth and write it as an equation with this new symbol, this derivative. This is translation, writing an idea into mathematics. Then asks what function solves the equation. And here the solution is an exponential function. We won't actually know how to solve this for a few weeks, but for now, if you accept the solution, this answers the question. What is the connection between percentage growth and exponential functions? The exponential function is the solution to the differential equation that is the translation of the idea of percentage growth. This is the idea that the derivative allows. Let me speak more generally now. A differential equation is a key idea in calculus, and many models of the world start with differential equations. The key is to write down an observation about growth based on some data. I wrote down percentage growth, but there are many other more complicated kinds of growth. Then translate this into mathematics by writing an equation involving the growth rate, involving the derivative. 
then solve this if you can. If you indeed can, you get a function which matches the data. This is made possible by the concept of a derivative, of a symbol for the rate of change of a function. Here are a few other differential equations. The first here is percentage growth again, with C being the percent, percentage, hence division by 100. The second is the same, but with a negative sign. The negative on the right means that the growth rate on the left is also negative. This is percentage decay instead of percentage growth. The equation says that the population decays by C percent per year, or, po or whatever unit of time is being used. Positive rate of change is growth, and negative rate of change is decay. The third equation here is an example of another relationship, one among many, since all of algebra can be brought to bear to make new differential equations. In this case, the growth rate is proportional to the square of the current population instead of just a percentage.